this use case we show here in Fujitsu Forum um, is a use case with um, artificial intelligence. So we trained a neural network. This neural network was trained with pictures, um, nine different pictures of hand shadows. So for example, thumbs up, th thumbs down, a hand, a dinosaur. And um, we trained this network so that tr the network realizes now when it gets the, the new hand shadow that um, it already saw this picture before and can give a feedback about this new picture. It's really straightforward and easy build. It should show our customers that it's very, very easy to train a neural network with a few pictures. So in this case, um, per image, we used around 20 to 30 pictures. It already learned and it's already capable to, um, to really give an answer what it sees when you show um, this network another hand shadow. It's straightforward, it's easy, and imagine if you train hundreds and thousands of pictures, it can be a lot more accurate um, to recognize more and more pictures afterwards. We use a convolutional neural network, um, and this network is capable um, of running pictures through different layers, through multiple layers, to recognize this picture. What the network really does, we don't know, because that's the beauty of those networks. They can just learn things, and, and afterwards realize what's been shown to them. The platform is PrimeFlex for Hadoop. PrimeFlex for Hadoop is a powerful big data platform. Um, it's an integrated system where our customers can run various use cases on. Um, so those use cases range from genome analytics on the one hand side up to social media analytics. We did some use cases with weather analytics, risk and threat analytics. So you can really use this platform um, for ver various um, range of use cases. This product is available for several years already. Um, and this is a big data platform, including the software layer. And Fujitsu also delivers services around this platform. So on the one hand, we consult customers. On the, one, on the other hand, we also deliver analytic services to customers to build out use cases. So if you take this example with image recognition, you can transfer this um, idea to, for example, the healthcare sector. So think about um, cells, blood cells. Um, that you might want to train in a network like that. So the network learns about those blood cells and can then tell you afterwards if it can realize on, and recognize um, these blood cell, cells again when you show it to them. Um, so in a practical environment, it might um, give doctors the chance to not really uh, yeah, analyze per viewing it all those cells. The network can, can support this and you can filter already all those pictures um, beforehand so that the doctors only have to look at a, yeah, a smaller amount of, of uh, pictures afterwards.